struggling guitarist. I'm going to struggle through Michael Jackson's Beat It. I'll see you there. Ooh. So this guitar riff needs no introduction. I'll just put this out there. Eddie Van Halen on the guitar and a song by the king of 80s pop, Michael Jackson. And if you were a kid in the 80s, there was no escaping it. I'm excited to pretend like I'm playing something Eddie Van Halen played. Let's get started. So to start out, we're gonna start on the open string of the low E here. We're gonna put our middle finger on the third fret. We're gonna scoot down one string. So we're on the second fret of the fifth string. So we're gonna scoot all the way over with our pinky. So we're doing the fifth fret of the fourth string. We're gonna reach back on that same string and do the second fret of that fourth string. We're gonna do it again, but we're gonna slide from the two to the four back to the two and open open on that same string yes it doesn't sound like anything yet but we'll get there we just have to syncopate it a little and speed it up just a tiny you'll hear it so it'll sound something like this right you can hear it now so one thing I want to mention while we're doing this is we want to be staccatoing all these notes. We want to play them and then make them cut out. We don't want them to ring very long. Every now and then I do. Personally, it sounds kind of cool, but truthfully, that's slop, 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 slop. That's not what I mean to do. <laughs> so if you see me do it, roll with it or don't do it the proper way. But, you know, that's what I'm going for. Next up, we're gonna play that same part again with one small change. We're gonna remove the last note from that riff. So at the end, we slid up from the two to the four, back to the two, and then did two opens. This time we're only gonna do one open. So when you put it all together and you add the two different parts, it's going to sound something like this. And just like that, we're done with the chorus riff and we're moving on. Now on to the pre-verse. Now the smart way to play this would probably be in the D chord shape, like what you see I've got here. However, I'm going to play it what's easier for me, the heck with the way it should be played, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the seventh fret of the third string and the eighth fret of the second string. Now, once again, you can see that that would be the perfect D shape as I shift here. You know, it's probably a great idea to get in that habit and just to do it. Like I said, once again, I'm going to shift it so it's just these first two fingers. So what you're going to do is you're going to play this twice. You're going to slide down to the four and the five on those same strings, and you're going to play it once. You're going to slide back up, put both of your fingers on the sevens, and slide down for one on the two and the three. Excellent. Now on to the next section. So on to the verse. Instead of the usual two finger power chord or three finger power chord, this time we're going to do a four string power chord. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start by putting my index finger across both the sevens of the big strings here, the E and the A. Then I'm going to use this finger and I'm going to do the fourth and third strings of the ninth fret here. So it sounds like this. 
Now, I think it's probably more correct to play it almost like you're playing an F chord or something like that. I'm lazy, I'm gonna just roll with flattening my finger like that. I will remark that you wanna make sure that we're muting this second string here so we're not playing that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play that three times on the seven and the nines. Once again, you wanna be staccatoing these notes. We're gonna scoot down so we're on the five and the sevens, same position, and we're gonna do it the same rhythm here. We're gonna repeat. Now we're gonna scoot down in the same position to the three and the fives, and we're gonna do it the same rhythm here, up to the five and the sevens, back to the seven and nines to the five and the seven. It seems like a lot, roll with me here. Let's try it again. Again. Down to the three and the fives. Back up to the seven and nines. And bam, like that, you're done with this section as well. Let's keep moving. So the bridge is very similar to the verse in that it has the same strumming pattern. That takes off half the work right there. Next is the simplest thing by far. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the open string on the E and we're gonna play the second fret on the A string. So like I said, we're gonna use the same strumming patterns and we're gonna staccato our strums just like all the other parts. So the one difference here is we're gonna be palm muting this part. I like to make it ring a little bit more. It just says palm mute. From everything I've seen, I have no idea how much is how much. I guess figure out how much you like it. It'll sound something like this. Congratulations, you've learned Michael Jackson's Beat It. Good job. Now let's go ahead and rock with this song. I really, I can't wait. So to get a feel for the original song, I just want to show you what it looks like. It looks something like this. So as you can see, it just repeats over and over and over and over again. Now that's awesome, it's a great song, and a lot of these have different layers. You can choose different parts of when you wanna play them. Of course, there's the epic solo that we're not tackling here for obvious reasons. But what I'm thinking is we'll do something that'll just let us really rock out and get a good feel for this song. Something like this. So I'm thinking that we'll do the chorus riff twice through followed by the verse twice through. Again, the chorus riff, because like I said, it's always underneath the song and anywhere in the song almost. So it's worth playing it besides, it's the most fun, right? Then we'll do the pre-verse and finally the chorus riff. But we'll do that until we fade out. How many times? I don't know, I'll do it four, maybe six, and I'm just gonna edit that and fade out in post, so sorry. Let's, let's just say six times through. Anyway, we'll figure that out. Let's get started. One, two, one, two, three, four.
So thanks for helping me struggle through Beat It by Michael Jackson today. <sighs> what an epic tune. Man, Eddie Van Halen, Michael Jackson, the team. It's fantastic. Sorry I didn't dress up today like I do in other videos, but believe it or not, I don't have a single pair of leather pants. No, 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 not one. Maybe that's why I'm not a rock star. Well, it's either the leather pants or the lack of talent. I'm gonna go with the leather pants, but, but you never know. I'm gonna buy some and we'll find out. <laughs> that's stupid. Anyway, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you next time on The Struggling Guitarist.